How are you guys doing today? How's it going, fellow saw enthusiasts? We got a pop-up piston video for you guys. I've been wanting to do one of these ever since I've seen a novice lumberjack post a video about it. I thought you could potentially get some decent gains from it. This first little bit of cutting I'll be doing is just with the saw and it's not so stock form but with the stock piston. We did do some port work to it and delete the base gasket. So without a further ado let's get to it. Collector. doing about you know the, the longest one was probably like 12 seconds and then the, the fastest one was about eight seconds all right guys we got some good news and we got some bad news so good news is i honed the cylinder bad news is there is some light um i don't know if you guys can see that but there's definitely some light scoring let's try to get you guys a good Maybe there's like four or five lines on that side there. The rest of it looks good, but can't really see the cylinder. But I honed it, it all looks really good. There's cross hatching again throughout the chamber. It all looks like that except for that area. There's one really bad one. Which that wasn't in there before the porting, so I'm just going to contribute that to I didn't clean it out good enough, possibly, or maybe I got some debris. See, the dome height is a little taller. Um, as long as your piston does not touch your 
spark plug, you should be good in theory. And um, you really should try to do some chamber work to reshape it, but I don't think, as long as you don't have a super fat um, squish band, you should be all right in theory. But if your squish band is pretty fat, which I mean, these combustion chambers vary. So if your squish chamber is super fat, you might have to do some machine work because there might be some tapping, to be honest with you, because hell, that thing's got to be up a couple thousands. Anyways, we're going to install it and see what happens, guys. This uh, solder is about 45,000 thick. That's 30,000 is what they say. I'm going to install the spark plug. I think we're good. We're not touching the spark plug. Got the pop up piston in. I don't know how great it's going to start. Too much fuel on the low side, so I'm going just a bit.
gains. It's so little you can't tell. Maybe it makes more horsepower. Um, I want to keep the saw running for a while, so I don't want to try to lean it out too much. installed the little red barn piston and slowest cut was about 12 seconds about the same as the stock piston but after the fastest cut I was running about you know seven seconds flat maybe a little bit more so we gained about a, a second in the pine just with dropping it in and not really messing with the carb too much so you guys take that for what you what you want. Um, I didn't think there was going to be a whole lot of gain because if you want to see some gains from this piston, I think you got to do the work, and that means reshaping the combustion chamber to match the exact profile of this piston, and also changing that squish band to I'd say about twenty five thousandths will get you to where you need to be, and then also you need to go in there and change up your transfers after you do all that, and also. Um, the exhaust, maybe even the intake, but that'll all be in a different video. We also will have some more stuff coming. I got another, I got a 24 inch bar coming for this, and uh, hopefully, I can get a full, full wrap handle from a 620 to put on this, and also. I got some decals coming for it because I want to have a specific theme for this saw right here. Um, I'm going to start working on it tomorrow and get it to the way I want to because by the end of the week I'm going to be posting a video on this one and um, yeah I think it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, 